Today, we're going to talk about how the taste of the fish you eat impacts the health of the oceans and the future of sustainable seafood worldwide. My name is Matthew Stromberg. I'm a PhD student in environmental engineering at the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. Because I don't do anything by halves, I actually have two advisors, Dr. Jonathan Zohar and Dr. Upal Ghosh. Unlike a lot of kids, I didn't grow up watching sports. I grew up watching the Discovery Channel. And because of that, I've always been a very passionate environmentalist and really focused on the oceans and the waterways of the world. Matt's research is done at the Institute of Marine and Environmental Technology. Through this research, he hopes to create real-world solutions for the current problems our oceans are facing. The estimates for biomass loss in the ocean range anywhere from 50 to 80 percent in the last 100 years. That means that at least two in three fish that were alive 100 years ago aren't today. One potential solution to a lot of these problems is recirculating aquaculture, especially when it's done in tanks. You can think about aquaculture as farming, except in water. It involves the raising of any sort of fish, shellfish, or even aquatic plants. Recirculating aquaculture is a system by which typically fish are grown in tanks or ponds where the water is almost completely reused. Most modern aquaculture takes place in net pens out in the ocean or in ponds that aren't isolated from ecosystems. Recirculating aquaculture, on the other hand, keeps your fish out of the ocean and the ocean out of the fish. This means you don't have to worry about contaminants in the water getting into the fish you eat or an excess of waste getting into that water. If we want to ensure a healthy food supply for humanity and protect the oceans at the same time, we need to make sure that aquaculture raised fish don't have an off flavor problem. Off flavor is a muddy taste caused by a few molecules, in particular one called geosmin, that makes things taste earthy, even when you don't want them to. Nobody likes the taste of a muddy fish. Not only are we testing some systems that have been designed to deal with this problem, but we're also working on our own in-house methods. Right now, I'm working on two different parts of the problem. First, how can we remove the off flavor from the water before it ever becomes a problem in the fish? And second, how can we more efficiently detect this problem? Matt plans to take this research off of the lab bench and into the real world by creating a company that provides a viable, cost-effective solution to the off-flavor problem in aquaculture. To achieve this goal, Matt is part of IMET's Ratcliffe Environmental Entrepreneur Fellowship Program. Through this program, he is learning how to design, create, and pitch his own business. I hope to see the day where aquaculture can expand enough that every coral reef and most of the oceans are marine protected areas.